Hi guys and happy Saturday. Happy, happy Saturday. I'm not that happy right now because vacation is coming to an end and that makes me so sad. So sad it went so fast. It was an absolute whirlwind. And uh, we had so much fun. And um, about, let's see, about an hour and a half ago, the Uber came to pick up Raymond T. Vinyl and take him back to uh, the airport. So it was really nice of him to Uber it back. I didn't have to do that airport drive again. <laughs> it's really, uh, it's white knuckle for me, you know. But um, just so much fun. So we had three full days together, and then today and Tuesday um, in the mornings, you know. <clears throat> uh, morning, today, afternoon, Tuesday. Very fun. And the first day we did all the thrifts, the second day we did the Edison uh, National Historic Site, and uh, yesterday we did record shopping. So I hope you enjoyed all the videos. We had some fun last night. We just, we laughed a lot. We laughed so much. <laughs> My stomach hurt from laughing. It was great. So uh, he's on his way home right now, and... Uh, I'm here with you to show you a couple of really fun things that I got. Um, first up, I want to talk about this Graveyard Groove again. This is such a cool thing. This is by David Accord, The Haunted History of Monster Music from Monster Mash to Horror Punk. And uh, those of us that love the horror genre, this is a must. And this is a new book, newly released book. And uh, there is a discography on the back, a list, which is really cool. A lot of misfits listed in here, a lot of Frankie Stein and his ghouls. Um, great obscure early um, 60s monster music uh, stuff to be looking for, stuff that we will definitely keep our eyes uh, peeled for. Really excited about that. Graveyard Groove. I got mine on Amazon, so just amazing what a great thing i'm so excited about that all right uh, a couple of days ago i believe it was thursday i had a package on my porch for my friend james the brew Q, and it's his new um pumpkin ale pumpkin ale oh my goodness i'm gonna try it with you guys and i open it and try it uh, we'll try it together pumpkin ales. He sent me three pumpkin ales and three summer ales because those were so good. Um, and sadly summer is totally gone because we had very chilly weather. That's why we didn't get to do our video outside yesterday. It got windy and cold. I actually broke down and put the heat on. So if the heat kicks on while we're doing this, you, it makes a lot of noise. Anyway, he also sent me these awesome shot glasses, Texas. The, the Lone Star State. Very awesome. And this one's really cool because this is where he comes from. Midland, Texas. Looks like um, Midland, I believe, is oil country. So that's really, really fun. I love them. I like this um, getting stuff from where you got, you know, where you come from. Because then every time I look at them, I think of you. Okay. Let's open the pumpkin ale. Oh, it smells so good. I, I really enjoyed watching the uh, brewing process on this one. Really, really fun. Let's see. Oh, that is outrageous. That is up there with any of the best of the pumpkin ales. Wow, how yummy. It's a perfect day for it too because vacation is coming to an end. The sky looks very autumn, very autumn. It's cold. It's just, this really says autumn to me. Mm. That is a beautiful ale, James. I'm into that. Very fun. We got to get you some cool labels. Um, mm, it tastes really good. 
Uh, I really, I thank you every time you send them to me. I, I'm just thrilled. And I was like, I am not sharing my beers with anyone. These are mine. These are for me. And Raymond was fine with that. He was like, you know, no, those are for you. Those are, you know. So, these are great. Um, yeah, that's yummy. And I thank you so much. And his little uh, daughter has... This is the hat he put on her. This is the hat. He, like, it was a tiny version. It fit. It was perfect for her little head. And uh, it just tickled me to death. Mmm. Yummy. Okay. Um... This little circus lady, circus performer lady, that Raymond brought me is so fun, and she goes very well with this fabulous new thing that I got. Check it out, guys. It is a Coney Island Brewing Company cooler. Is that beautiful or what? You know me and my advertising pieces, but look at this one. James, check it out. All the, uh, the boardwalk, Luna Park is here. It says Coney Island Brewing Company all over the place. It's got a latch lock. It even has a bottle opener over here. Isn't that awesome? The cellar was incredible. Um, it says thrill your taste buds. The cellar was wonderful. I, I really, really wanted this. And it was right before vacation. And he had a price on it. And I said, I just can't spend that much. But he had to make offer. So I made an offer. And he said, but my price is fair. It's really fair. I said, no doubt. Your price is totally fair, I said, but this is all I can afford right now. So he came back with a, a slightly higher offer. I accepted it. I bought it. He was so cool about it. So uh, he even refunded some of the shipping when it didn't cost as much as I paid. Like I was like, you know, you came down on the price. You didn't have to do that. Some sellers are just so wonderful. So I was thrilled. This really needed to be in my collection. You know, I love Coney Island, and this is a beautiful thing. I love Coney Island, and I love brews. So this is so perfect. And I really wanted this for vacation. If it had been nice out, we could have put ice in this, put it on the deck, and hung out. You know, that's what we would have done. But it was too cold. That's all right. It didn't come till Friday anyway. It didn't come till yesterday because uh, it was a huge box and all. But anyway, it's beautiful. It's like brand new because of course it's an advertising piece. Probably a, uh, a liquor store guy. I, I don't know who would have gotten this. Yeah, maybe a liquor store, you know, that sold Coney Island uh, lagers. But it's really beautiful. It's all stainless inside. It's all shiny and nice. Look at that. I just love this thing so much. Looks like it never had ice in it. I'm sure it was just used as a display. It is beautiful. And the little opener is very cool in the front. What a beautiful advertising piece. Isn't that great? I'm so excited about it. And the circus lady goes really well with it, I think. So anyway, we had some fun treks. We had a went to some great restaurants and I had some great footage from um, the Barrow House and Music Connection, Record King. I went to load it. We had a few beers already by this time and I went to load our video and I loaded the video from the other camera. I thought it loaded. It didn't. I deleted it from the camera. I lost it. Lost it all. It was so sad. There was some really good footage in there. Oh well, next time. Um, but I did have some fun things to show you. I couldn't, I wanted to show you Music Connection. Really, really fun. Well, I've, I've took you there before, but still, on vacation, it's more fun. <laughs> so anyway guys, that was a great time. We really, really had a fun trip. Always, always too short. And, uh, vacation itself is always way too short. I am, um, I'm sad, but I do have a ton of new records to uh, play through and
just really fun. Tomorrow I'll have another adventure and that will be the end of my vacation. So sad. I don't even know if I can go back to work mentally. You know what I mean? I don't know. I've just been so relaxed and just enjoying it. It's been so nice. So anyway, again, James, thank you so much. These pumpkin ales are amazing. Mmm. So drinkable. So delicious. Not overpowering with the uh, spices. Just a perfect um, pumpkin ale. I'm digging that. I really love it. Salute to you, James. You are a master brewer and a mad scientist. And uh, I look forward to every one of these ales that you create. So anyway, guys, just wanted to come in and say hi and show you this awesome Coney Island Brewing Company uh, cooler. It is so beautiful. I'm really into this. And because the cellar was so cool, he uh, made it possible for me to grab it right before vacation, too. I could really have used the money, <laughs> money but you know what? I just really, really wanted this. So I'm happy. I've never seen one before either. There have to be others out there, but they never come up on eBay. This is the first time I've ever seen one, so I was into that. So anyway, that's about it, guys. I hope you're having a magical, mystical, musical Saturday. I love you all. I'm getting ready to catch up on a lot of your videos because we didn't get to watch anything um, this week. But uh, I am ready to catch up with all of you now. So uh, I'll see you soon. I love you all. Have a magical, mystical, musical Saturday. Mwah. Thanks, James. Mm.